and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a UI web view in your application in Xcode 5. So to get started what you want to do is just start up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Now I'm just going to be using a single view application and I'm going to be calling it UI web view for the purpose of this video and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So we're just going to use a couple of lines of code, just drag and drop them in and uh, it's really easy. Let's get started. So what we need to do is just go down to these objects here and just scroll down until we find web view. So I'm just going to drag and drop web view here and then um, I'm just going to crop it down a little bit uh, so I can get a toolbar on. So we're going to scroll down here where the uh, items are again until we find toolbar. I'm just going to drag this on here and then we can re-crop our web view. And I'm just going to have it so it's just underneath the status bar. So now what we're going to do is we've already got a button here and we need four. So I'm just going to drag one and what we're going to do is we're going to have this thing here which is called a flexible spacebar button item. So what this does, this just, depending on how many buttons you have, just um, stretches them out, pushes them to either side and uh, just gives them a little space between the two of them or the pairs. So like that. I'm going to double click on this first one, we're going to pull this one back and double click on this one and pull this one forward. And this one's going to be refresh and this one's going to be stop loading. So if we just control click on this button and drag it up to the web view, we're going to click go back and select that as its function. Make sure you're clicking on the button and not the actual toolbar. So like that, you want to make sure you click on the button. So forward, it's going to be go forward. Refresh, it's going to be reload. And stop, it's going to be stop loading. So now we've got that sorted, we're going to go over to our viewcontroller.h. And this does work if you import a new view controller uh, file, a new header and implementation file. You can do it in there as well, but we're just going to stick to the ones that are here already. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy and paste a little bit of code, which is going to be this one, and I'll put this in the description. So there you go. That's all we need in there. And if we head over to our implementation file, what we're going to be doing is pasting stuff into this view did load. So I'm just going to go back over to my notes and copy this chunk here and paste that there. Now we've got an error here and it's not going to work unless we put this bit of code here which is synthesize web view. Copy and paste that and I'm just going to put this underneath where it says implementation view controller. So now what we want to do is we want to specify which web page we want to go to. So in between these quotation marks here, you're going to type in your web page. So I'm going to do http colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. So that's where our web view is going to go. So if we just head over to our main storyboard again, this is the last thing we need to do. We just need to right click and drag or control drag onto your web view and just select web view here. So if you can get that, that's the uh, view controller bit here. Right click and drag or control drag onto there and make sure view controller is selected. So now if we just start this up in the iPhone 5 um, simulator, see when it starts up we get our app that we've just created and here you go so go straight to the Google web page so if we just click here type hi and search and you can go back forwards refresh the page refresh stop and refresh so there you go so thanks for watching I hope this helped you out and if you have any questions feel free to uh, drop me a comment or message me on Twitter. 
And if you have any ideas for any videos or want any help, just comment down below and I'll see what I can do. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.